Hello everyone, welcome back. Shadow Space was just released. I actually finished the entire faction quest already. It was pretty fun, it was pretty fun. I am planning to make a guide for that, uh, but I wanted to do a separate video first, just showing you everything that is new, like uh, all the gears, right? All the new weapons, new spacesuits and things like that. Just so you guys have an idea of what else you get with this DLC. I think I got all the new items. Hopefully I didn't miss any, but if I do, let me know in the comments. I'm gonna start with the weapons first, then we go to spacesuits, outfits, and also what you get at the end of finishing the mission. All right, so let's get started with the first weapon. This is the Varun Starlash. It is, a, it is a new weapon, but it looks very similar to the Equinox that we had. So it is slightly, you know, modified, slightly different. I do like the look of it a little bit more. And for mine, I already took it to the workbench and I added extra mods just to see how good it can get. It is decent. It is not my favorite. It is not very OP either, but it is one of the few that is fully automatic. The next weapon we have is the Varun Penumbra. This gun, I gotta tell you, is probably one of my favorite ones in this game because it's just fun and it is unique, right? It is a shotgun that kind of shoots this big ball of particle energy or something. The range seems to be pretty decent because that plasma ball, it just sometimes you shoot it and it looks like it just keeps going forward. It is pretty good and this weapon uses a new ammo type which is the 20 millimeter particle rocket i haven't quite gotten a legendary drop of this one yet but i think i'm just gonna make one myself using you know the command console and if you want to know how to use that i have a video i'll link in the description that kind of tells you how to make your own legendary guns anyway this one is pretty fun it's probably one of my favorite guns coming out of this dlc and it looks pretty sexy too, I think, this gun. All right, let's go to the next one. So the next one is the Varun Quick Strike. It's a pistol, and it is very similar to another pistol that we have in the base game that I, I forgot the name of it. But this one kind of looks like, you know, a reskin type of uh, type of version. It looks pretty good. Uh, I'm not a big fan of pistols anyways in general in the game. For those who are, yeah, there's a new one here. I managed to get a legendary drop, but I only used it once and that was it. That was it. I was just I was just curious. Next we have this thing. This is the Varun Starstrom. This one is a heavy gun, similar to the micro gun that we have, but it is shooting plasma. I was really excited for this gun when I saw it in the trailers. And uh, my hope was that the initial pull, the initial fire would be a little bit faster than the micro gun and it seems like it's about the same so yeah i mean it is okay i think it looks cooler than the micro gun all right next gun and i think this is the last new gun that we have is this one is the varun long fan this one is the gun that i ended up using most often when i was playing the dlc because it is pretty powerful. I found that this was a pretty decent gun. It is also very similar to another gun that we have in the base game that I forgot the name. And this kind of looks like a reskin of that gun. It looks, it looks better though. I do think in general, all the Varun styles of guns that came out in this DLC, they look better than the ones that we have in the base game. And at this one, because I used it for most of my run, I ended up actually taking it to the workbench and added different mods to try to make it better. This is a burst shot, but you have the option to make it into a semi-automatic. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a full auto option because that would have been really nice, really sweet. Those are all the ranged weapons that we got in this new game. Now let's take a look at the melee weapons. So we have three new ones. First one is this one. I think that all the names are called Varun uh, schemas, but they look different. So this is one, right? They all kind of similar to the pain blade, but longer. And this is one. This is another one that is more like a old school blade, you know, just a straight pointy blade. So there's this one. 
uh, they're all called Varum schemas plus whatever perks uh, they have then that goes in the name as well so I don't know why so that is the second version more like a regular normal looking blade right just a straight blade and then finally we have this one that looks probably the most aggressive of all the three right you got you got edges everywhere edges in the handle uh, below the handle and the biggest edge in front so this is another melee weapon uh, i'm not a big fan of using melee weapons i don't use it a lot but if you guys like melee combat and wow you have this weapon most of these weapons they draw from this new varum enemy i think is called the redeemed they usually always have swords on them I got actually most of the weapons very early on in the game. So none of these weapons like showed up for me at the end of the game. I mean, I, I got more, more drops, different perks and things like that. But you get them pretty fairly early in the game, even before you land to the Varum City. So those are the weapons. And we also have new grenades and we have I think uh, five new type of grenades because we also have new uh, materials that are dropping you have shards which are probably the most common that you can find it dropping from any of the Varum enemies and then you also have uh, less common materials that are dropping from aliens and all of that together you can use them to craft these new type of grenades I don't know if you can use them to craft other things so far all of these materials have been for grenades so you have five of those the first one is Voltex Grenade Binding then we have Voltex Grenade Charged then we have Voltex Grenade Lure We have Vortex Grenade Facing. And finally, Vortex Grenade Unstable. So those are the new grenades that you can use. They're pretty fun, I think. And those are all the weapons. So now we can go into the new spacesuits. So let's start with this one. This is the first one. This is the mining spacesuit, the Varun mining spacesuit. And as you can see, you know, it's very similar to the regular mining spacesuit, but you have a different color, a different color scheme, and you have the green neon kind of toxic thing going around. And I gotta tell you, I like this look definitely more than the regular one. And it's an entire set. So you got the booster pack, the helmet and the spacesuit, a whole set. And then we have a couple of actually new, new Varun set. And the first we have the Varun Assault Spacesuit. This one's pretty nice. I like the helmet. Uh, it looks like a skinnier version of the Varun armor set that we have in the base game. It looks pretty decent. I like it, uh, especially the helmet. I, I feel like the helmet is way better than the rest of the spacesuit. I mean, this is actually nice. You have the new jetpack and the helmet and the spacesuit. And there is a version of this suit with a different color. Uh, well, I don't know if I could call it a color, but it's a Zillow Assault spacesuit, but with the white uh, powdery thing around. So there is this version and you also get the same kind of white treatment on the booster pack and as well as the helmet. Of the two of these, I think they both look pretty good, honestly. I, I kind of like them both. So next up, we have the Zillow spacesuit and helmet. I didn't get a jetpack to drop. So I don't know if there is one or not for, for this suit. This looks very similar to the standard uh, Varun set that we have in the base game, but with the white going around. And then lastly, I have the Zillow Heavy Assault Spacesuit. Very similar to the previous ones, but just with more padding around the shoulders, the arms, the legs. I didn't get a jetpack and a helmet that also has the word heavy in it. So I have a feeling that the helmet is probably the same helmet. This is another spacesuit. This is a little bit more aggressive looking. All right, so next up, let's take a look at some of the outfits where we got some cool stuff. 
at least I think that way. But anyway, let's just start with some of them really quick. So we have this one, the House Dog Health Lab Outfit. And then we also have another one from the Vital House Lab Outfit. And there is one with the Shielded Lab Outfit. And then we also have this, the Varun Cargo Wear. I think uh, similar to what we had before, but different color scheme. Then we have the Varun Guard uniform. I like this one quite a lot. This uniform actually looks really nice, much better than the, uh, I think the UC Guard uniform. The green, I think looks fantastic. Uh, I couldn't find a helmet. I don't know if there is one. I think there is one, I just couldn't find it. Then we also have another lab outfit. And we also have the Varun Streetwear. And this one, I think it looks very similar to one of those outfits in Neon City, but without the hood and the mask. This is a nice one. I like how it looks. This is a nice outfit. And finally, the one that I've been using is this one, the Varun suit with scarf. Uh, I like this one. This one looks fantastic. It reminds me a lot of the uh, outfit in the movie Dune, but I think this looks kind of better. Uh, it also gives you a 5% persuasion chance. Uh, it looks really nice. Uh, I do like this one quite a bit. Finally, you get a house, this house, after you complete the entire quest. This is the house. You just get it after after you complete the, the entire faction quest. Um, nothing, you don't have to pay anything, but this is, this is the house. So I, I haven't done anything. I haven't decorated anything. I'm just going to show you guys uh, what it is you have a fire pit that you can you know turn off I think I think you can turn off right yeah you can turn off or you can just start it again you do have windows so that is good and you do have a switches to turn those windows the blinds on and off it is not a big house uh, of course because you know I mean we are in Barum city so everything is kind of small um, and this is a cooking station that sometimes is a little bit finicky to get it but there is a cooking station that you can use and you have i think one room so there is one bathroom just the bathroom and then you have your kind of bedroom here and, and that is it so not a lot going on here uh, you are at the top of a hill so at least there is a view but the city, I think, doesn't see any daylight. Um, yeah, the city, unfortunately, is just always, always kind of dark and red skies and type of situation. So, so yeah, there is not going to be a lot of uh, uh, view. But in case anybody's wondering, this is what the city kind of looks like from the top of your uh, of your house. So yeah, you have your uh, ship port on on the other side so you're able to see your ship once it's landed and this is you know this is the Varun city Dasra and that is the view that you get so all right that is it for everything that is new uh, and if I miss anything of course let me know in the comments down below also let me know how you enjoying the new DLC other than that, you know, thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I also want to give one of you a code for a Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. I don't know how long this is. I don't know if it's a week or a month. I have no idea. Uh, you have to redeem this by January 1st, 2025. So there you have it. First come, first serve. Hopefully, you know, it helps one of you guys. Other than that, enjoy the game. Have fun. And I'll see you all in the next video.